Santana behind Estrada. This has all the makings of being uh, quite a wrestling match, doesn't it, Bruno? Has been. This match has all the makings of being quite a wrestling match. Absolutely, because we have two athletes who can, who can really move with tremendous speed. Uh, Estrada, very aggressive, uh, very fast, very aggressive in every sense of the word. But then Santana, with speed galore, move galore, he's done everything. So it should be a heck of a match. Wishing not to see a slugfest here, wants to see more wrestling. Are there any particular advantages or disadvantages uh, to the likes of a... Uh... Well, there he is, hanging on to the ankle there. You have to give Estrada credit. Hanging on, Jose Estrada following through now with a kick to the chest. Santana firing right back. You know, Vince, I think Estrada tried to give uh, Santana a backdrop. Santana caught in a split second and didn't have proper time because he can leap way up in the air, but he tried to avoid it by leapfrog. Right? He just did right there. Oh, he was going to do the drop there. And a takedown by Tito Santana. We're going to ask earlier, Bruno, are there any principal advantages or disadvantages? All right. As far as wrestling technique is concerned, when, you, when you're built like Tito Santana, he's about 6'4", I guess, maybe a little taller. Uh, he's put together a very strong fellow, but sort of a long, light individual. Are there any particular disadvantages to being built that way or any advantages to being built that way? Well, I think there's advantages. For one thing, uh, when you're tall like that, there's a lot of tall wrestlers nowadays that you have... Uh, that height advantage which enables you with reach wise to be able to, to from a distance to, to, to make dive a uh, 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 double wrist lock an individual or, uh, or uh, you know even with a drop kick let's say without telegraphing it to an opponent whereas if you were if for a shorter squattier guy he has to come in much closer in order to uh, to do it to, to grab a, a double wrist lock let's say or a leg dive or whatever which would make the opponent that much uh, more, uh, uh, you know, uh, be able to defend himself, you know what I mean? Because, yes, uh, whereas with the reach, a lanky guy like Santana, gosh, from a good distance, all of a sudden, he can reach with one of those long arms and scoop you in the ankle area and take you down. So I'd say there's definitely some advantage to be that tall and lanky. Oh, wow. He's trying to call it a nice kick out by Santana. Santana reels him right back over. about the disadvantages any disadvantages well disadvantages are that uh, I think you know if uh, I, uh, I, being that your arms for example are so long a guy if he hammer locks you you know he can really take your wrist and really really drive it off to the back of your neck or if you were uh, you know if you were uh, for example bear hogging someone with those long arms you know, you'd really have to have an enormous, enormous power where a shorter guy with shorter arms has got more natural squeezing ability because he's got you right in there and he's got plenty to squeeze from where a guy with really long arms, you, you follow the pitch, he doesn't have full arms. So therefore, uh, it, it would be really more ineffective in a, in a move like that. There, there's the advantages and disadvantages, but I'd say the advantages got the edges. I guess then the trick is to do the best with what you have to do. Exactly. The, the best, the, the, the thing is to use what you have to its fullest ability and uh, and hope that that'll be enough to make you a winner. Well, that's exactly what Santana has been since entering the World Wrestling Federation. I don't know anyone who's climbed the, the uh, ladder of success any more rapidly than he has. Without question, man. Just a terrific guy, great athlete. He's really impressed everybody in the World Wrestling Federation with his wrestling skills and as far as being a, a truly a gentleman. So... A lot of credit goes to Tito Santana. You know, get back to your original question. I know myself that, well, you know, I'm only, I'm, a sh I'm just about six foot tall, but my arms aren't exceptionally long, but I was always stocky, and I found that helped me strength-wise in that sense. Strength-wise, it seemed like it was to an advantage. But then you met a, well, let's see what happens here. He's coming off to the back. Oh, Santana trying to hook the hips, could not do it. Santana 
Thanos might be on his knees. He'll go toe to toe. And right now, it appears as though Estrada is in control. Whips it a rope, Santana off. This time able to leap up. Drop kick. Oh, he really nailed it. Up again, down again. Santana, flying head scissor. Santana on his feet, strips the ankle. Tito Santana reels around. Back with, oh, it could be it. Just the ring. Santana. We're going to have a word with Mr. Santana in just a moment. Let's get the official time. Here is the time of all six minutes and 14 seconds and the winner, Tito Santana. Well, while Vince talks to Tito, we're going to bring you more up to date with an interview recently. The strongest men in the world, Ken Patera. And with his The Grand Wizard, along with Ken Pizzera, a man who on one given day took four gold medals in weightlifting in the amateurs in the Pan American Games, on to unquestionably make a reputation for himself, the likes of which has never been done before in weightlifting here in the United States. And we're almost ready for the action to commence. What he just did a second ago is a very, very difficult thing. Uh, King was behind him. He really hooked his hands, and he just took him by the wrist and just tried those arms apart. That is very, very difficult. That takes an awful lot of strength. But then, of course, we know Patero has it. Events, and you know this is it. You know that's the end of King. There's no way he's going to escape this. It's over. Well, that match is over. Now, we saw Moolah earlier in a match when she was champion. Now she's the manager of the new champion, Leilani Kai. But can she keep the belt against Wendy Richter, the former champ, managed by Cindy Lauper? Here's an interview with fabulous Moolah as manager. And of course, the new ladies champion, you might want to hear from yourself as we interview. Ladies and gentlemen, the next contest, it is set up for one small or two curfew. But first, I'd like to introduce the manager, the colorful Grand Wizard of Wrestling. And in the corner of my right, from Penn Stockton, New Jersey, Weighing 235 pounds, it is Kid Shotty. Sit in the corner to my left from Portland, Oregon. Weighing 265 pounds, ladies and gentlemen, the Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion, Ken Patera. Ken Patera and the non-title event. Set to take on Kid Sharky. Here we go.
Jin Patera whipping his man over. Kit Sharkey, no contest thus far. No uh, competition for Jin Patera, at least not as we see it. Well, Vince, I, I doubt it very much, as I'm sure you do, too, that uh, Sharkey, nice young man, but we both know that he's not going to give Patera much competition. There's just no way that we can put him anywhere near Patera, uh, Patera's class. Ken Patera, undoubtedly an extraordinarily gifted athlete. Patera had all the potential to be indeed nothing short of a hero, Bruno, to the American public. Nothing short of it. A man, the first man to military press over 500 pounds, uh, regarded as the greatest weightlifter in the... Uh, in American weightlifting history, justifiably to a certain extent, known as the strongest human being. I mean, there's just so much on and on. Track star, football star, everything he tried to do, he did well. He could have been a national hero. Uh, you're absolutely right, and it's really sad, and I don't understand sometimes. It's very confusing figuring out the mind of an individual. With all these assets that he has, all these great accomplishments that he has, that you, that you talked about, how can anyone not want to use him to his advantage and, and, be, and be loved by the fans? I mean, to me, that's such a rewarding thing, to, to be so gifted and to have the people with you. So, so and I do not understand because Patel has got everything, and yet he's the most obnoxious, roughest, vicious guy in that drink today and I don't understand why he likes that and he loves it the more that people hate him the better he likes it and look at this now you know this man's done Sharky has submitted already but look at him he wants to punish him even more just a sadistic sadistic you animal Jim Patera gets to Duke and the time two minutes and 37 seconds the winner the Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion, Ken Patera. To Madison Square Garden and tonight's all-star card of professional wrestling. The exhibitions this season are sanctioned and supervised by the New York State Athletic Commission. At this time, I should like to introduce the officials for this evening's matches. The judges at ringside. is Dr. It should be an outstanding match. They have met in the past. Rivera with an edge in victories over Gypsy Frank Rodriguez. Rodriguez, the heavier of the two, this is the first time they have met since Rodriguez has shaved his head. Not that that's going to help him here in Madison Square Garden. <laughs> 